Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jerry Del Vento, also known as Geraldine. Um, and I am so excited you are tuning into today's video. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a few fall outfit ideas, how to transition into fall. I'm also gonna be showing you how to incorporate this faux leather trend that is gonna be pretty big now for fall and winter, and you must try it. Yes, pieces like this one, and like this one from Zara, Forever 21, and I'm gonna be showing you how I style them. Very simple outfits that you can totally recreate the out the door type of outfits and ideas. So if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that button, and bring you new videos every Thursday. And I'm so excited that you are watching this. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite outfit. Come on, let's do this. Yes, this is outfit number one. I am wearing this a sweater vest that I picked up at Forever 21. Um, it's a size medium for sizing purposes, if you need to know. Um, it is a dress, let me show you. You see, it's a dress, um, and it's like the perfect length. It's not too short, and it's not too long. If you wanna wear over the knee boots, this would be the perfect sweater vest. Um, I know they have beige or tan color, but I only found it in the gray. And um, so I actually, I'm layering right now and I'm wearing one of Nick's um, button down long sleeve shirt. I'm um, sorry, my white brim hat with it, which I also picked up a Forever 21. And then I'm actually gonna wear my Dr. Martens because I feel like this is like the perfect, you know, boot right now for this. I don't wanna be too, um, I would say this is a great boot if you don't wanna be too fancy. like and I love it it is probably gonna be my go-to outfit this fall here is outfit number two um, like I mentioned in um, the beginning leather is gonna be a big trend this fall that you should definitely try it here is this little top it's like a burgundy color it has like a snake print I'm gonna get close to the camera so you can see it um, see that it's like a little print it, I must warn you it is very cropped so I had to wear with my high-waisted um, skirt my last fall, uh, my last haul. <laughs> so it has shorts under, which is awesome. This skirt comes in a gazillion colors and prints, and it has like this little here that you can do kind of to the side or to the front. So I paired it together, and I'm gonna put the, so I can show you. The shoes, simple outfit really pretty top it kind of makes a statement on its own that's why I paired it with something very simple at the bottom and simple shoes try to all right guys this is outfit number three this little uh, ensemble this skirt is from forever 21 it is um, a leopard skirt it is a good length I'm wearing a size medium for references in a room which is great and this little black crop top and this crop faux leather jacket. If you're doing leather on top, maybe go very simple at the bottom. Um, so try to, if you are gonna wear leather, don't do leather on leather unless it's a set that you bought together. Why? Because it's gonna be seamless and it's gonna look the same. If you try to mix um, leathers, they're gonna look different and it might look a little bit cheap. So I highly recommend whenever you're doing a leather top, go with a different fabric at the bottom or if you're doing leather bottoms go with a different fabric at the top here's a little close-up and um, it's a very fun little jacket and I, don't, and I don't know why I'm out of breath which I picked these up at Forever 21 by the way and they're probably the best thing in the world so simple leather cropped with a leopard skirt. On to the next. All right, this is outfit number three. It's this um, really cool blazer from Zara. Um, I got it as a size large because I like it oversized, number one, and because if I wanted to layer under it when it gets really cold or if I travel, I want to be able to have room to move but um, it is a very cool jacket I'll link it at the bottom for you all but it's one of the must-have pieces for from Zara for fall I wore it with this little um, bodysuit which is also from Zara it's a white bodysuit and very simple jeans 
and I did the same little sandals from um, Forever 21 and I'm good to go, ready. I'm obsessed with this blazer, probably my favorite buy from Zara recently. A lot of use out of it for fall and winter. This is my favorite. There, I said it. This little bodysuit is awesome too. It comes in a bunch of different colors and it's just an easy outfit, guys. Like black and white. Four. I think it's outfit number five. Oh my gosh, I lost count. Okay, never trust me for counting anything. Outfit number five, leather trousers from Target from the um, we, what, where, no, who? Target, their faux leather trousers. Um, they have a little bit of a cropped, um, as you can tell. They're cropped and a little bit wide on the leg. And then I picked up this sweater at Zara. I really love it. It is so cool. I love the girl. And very light weight turtleneck uh, from H&M um, with my golden gooses. Just a fun little outfit that you can wear during the day and also wear in the evening. Um, I am uh, wearing cargo sweatpants from Forever 21 and this little um, semi-turtleneck but not really uh, Air Force Ones, white Air Force Ones. And I'm gonna throw on top for any kind of coat. This one's from Forever 21 as well, but it's very light as you could if you're traveling. It is perfect because if you're hot, you kind of take it off and you're, per you're easy to move, easy to, you're traveling somewhere cold, you just kind of put the jacket on top and pack. But instead of doing it around the waist, I would kind of do it um, crossbody type of thing. It would be a perfect transitional fall outfit. Also perfect outfit if you're traveling. Your big sunnies and you're ready to go. Alright guys, this was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite and...